Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is Andrea and I'm here to do your weekly tarot reading for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and it will be from the 12th to the 18th of April 2021. So let's pull your overarching oracle card for the week. That flew out. So I have number 20, know your fears. Number 20, know your fears. Isn't that lovely? Really nice energy there. Message for Gemini, please, angels. What is the message for Gemini for the week? Thank you. Message for Gemini for the week. Thank you. We've got trust. Now that could be you're being looked over, watched over. Um, but it also is trust you, trust your instinct. I mean, it feels to do with something about owning fears or, yeah. Let's pull three cards and see what we get. So I've got, um, I'm using the uh, Gilded Tarot Royale and the Gilded Tarot this week. So first card, as you know by now, is the challenge. Second card is advice from spirit. Third card is the near future outcome. And then we clarify, go deeper into the message and it won't resonate with everybody. So just take what resonates with you, Gemini, okay? Okay, what do we have for Gemini, please, for the week? Message for Gemini for the week, thank you. Message for Gemini for the week, thank you. Two of Cups in the challenge position. Ten of Cups. Interesting, I had this for Aquarius. And we have the Hanging Mount, which I also had for Aquarius. You might be dealing with an Aquarius. It's not limited to that. Signs of the same element, which is air for you, um, can have similar energies. Okay, what do we have for Gemini, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Can we clarify the cards on the table for Gemini? Thank you. 12th to the 18th of April, 2021. Starting with this Two of Cups in the challenge position. Okay, I'll shuffle a bit more. If I don't get the card, I will choose. I generally prefer these cards to fall out, but these cards, for some reason, do seem to take longer uh, to fall out. What do we have for Gemini, please? Thank you. Okay, so we have the Ace of Swords. Knight of Wands with the Ten of Cups. And we have the Six of Pentacles with the Hanging Man. Bottom of the deck is the Nine of Wands. What is this Knight of Wands, please, for Gemini? What is this Knight of Wands for Gemini? What is this Knight of Wands for Gemini? Thank you. What is this Knight of Wands for Gemini, please? So I've got the Page of Pentacles, Gemini, and the Nine of Pentacles. Yeah, interesting. <laughs> it feels in this energy, Gemini. I mean, the Nine of Wands, let me just get one for that too. Ace of Pentacles. 
and the Six of Pentacles. I've got the Eight of Pentacles here. Let's get the Two of Cups. Page of Cups. Okay, I mean, the there's definitely an energy here of that you're, you know, this is Gemini, a bond between two people, the two of cups. Yes, it can be to do with, it's not limited to friendships, obviously next to the ten of cups, it feels like it's to do with love, romance, relationships. Um, can be to do with family as well. I mean, in this instance... Oh. It might be to do with a child. <laughs> it's, oh, it's interesting, isn't it? Um, you know, generally this, this it can just be a message of love, somebody offering you love. But in the challenge position, it's, I mean, it can be something that you don't trust or it feels, I'm, I'm really being, what I'm really getting here more than anything is, okay, Gemini, what I'm getting is, <coughs> it feels like a child wants to leave home and you're, there's a fear. It's, it's interesting. I mean, you know, uh, we'll, we'll clarify some of the cards going forward, but I, I'm definitely getting a strong feeling of there is a bond here and it feels like something is threatening that bond because not in a negative way, but there's definitely an energy of a new beginning. Somebody wants to cut cords, um, break free, and I'm definitely getting this to do with a child. It's interesting, isn't it? It feels like a child wants to leave home and this is your, there's a fear here. There's a fear here. They want to give it a go on their own. Um, uh, for, the, for, for the record, there is still a bond there, by the way. You know, the Two of Cups is is lo a loving bond between two people, a deep connection, a kindred spirit energy, you know, it's, there is definitely still that bond there, but it, it feels like somebody wants to break free. Now, yes, I mean, you know, I could apply this to a relationship, it, it feels more to do with a child. Because we have the Nine of Pentacles, again I've got the Page of Pentacles and I've got the Knight of Wands and interestingly enough what I'm getting with this energy is somebody does want to take action and move away from the family home, you know, which this is a blissful relationship, the happy ever after family, the perfect setting, uh, but you know, there's a partnership here of, of two people um, who have worked hard to provide for themselves, their family, their home, um, you know, emotionally, physically, mentally, you know, spiritually, call it what you will. And that is the real rainbow of blessings here. Uh, you know, they've worked hard to get where they are, to achieve what the happiness that they have. And it feels in this situation, I'm getting a child wants to leave. You know, the Knight of Wands is a card of inspired action. Um, and it's a card of change. And sometimes, you know, the knight can leave something behind. You know, it's a card of, I'm ready for this. I'm getting on the horse. I'm taking the reins of my life and I'm charging ahead. Um, it feels like there's some green light. And again, the Nine of Pentacles is a card of independence. Now, yes, it, I'm definitely getting that with this Page of Pentacles. I can also say this is very good in terms of money, career, finances, if you're being challenged, if there's some disharmony 
in terms of money career finances. The page can represent financial career opportunity and message to do with financial career opportunity coming your way. But it feels in this situation, somebody who just wants to give a new path a go and take action. I mean, there is an element of the youth as well with this energy of impulsive action. I just want to give it a go and try and stand on my own two feet. And that is what I'm getting here. Yeah. Let's clarify this hanged man. Which is a card of surrender and sacrifice. I have to say, Gemini. And that's definitely what I'm getting here. It's a card of letting go the hanged man. Um... Okay, I'm going to choose. So the hanging man. Yeah, I mean, you know, it, it, it feels this tower, there is change coming uh, because it, it feels in this energy, it's a life changing event and it, it definitely feels like it is. It doesn't necessarily feel a negative thing here, Gemini. <laughs> um, but you're being told in this tower moment, the tearing down of the old there is some kind of life-changing event happening because it might well be they're going off to college or they're going off to university or they're going to do some study or some internship or um, apprenticeship. Call it what you will. And it might well be in this situation. I mean, you might be offering them something, giving them something. You might be supporting them with money. Um, Now, Six of Pentacles, it, it just feels in this energy. You, yeah, you might be giving them some, it feels like you're gonna get, you're gonna help them with, with some money or something. But it, it feels, it, it's what I'm getting the most actually from that. But it definitely feels that, um, yeah, it's a big moment for you, but you're being told to surrender. So it, it's, it, this is the sacrifice. This is the change that is happening. You know, um, there is definitely this energy of independence. And interestingly enough, the page of pentacles can be about learning new skills, um, can be to do with education, can be to do with um, apprentice, you know, it can be to do with trades where you're just beginning to learn something or education where you're just beginning to learn something. You know, it's, it's that kind of energy because the pages are very youthful. They haven't mastered the full suit. They've still got a lot to learn. So there is a learning that goes with the Page of Pentacles. And it feels that somebody just wants to move home, wants to leave home, or they're leaving home for a specific reason. And it might well be you're helping them here, but you've got fears here. I mean, this is the fear because you don't, you don't want to let go. Uh, it's the test of faith, the Nine of Wands. <laughs> you're being, you're, you know, your faith is being tested here. Uh, but it feels like you're being, this tower is realigning you to a new path, but them also, um, because there is a new beginning here. This can be, you know, a career, financial opportunity. I mean, it might well be to do with uh, somebody moving here because they're actually moving. And there's, there's a feeling of, of maybe holding back, not wanting to see something through, you know, not wanting something to come to that completion where the new beginning has to happen. But in all of this, you're being told to trust. I mean, you know, this is a lovely energy, the Ace of Pentacles. It's the helping hand from the universe. And the tower always realigns you to the path that you need to be on. So you are being watched over and guided, but it feels that some of you, your fears, there is fear here. There is fear here. But it feels that this is an energy of just surrender. Face your fears. Um, own them. Embrace them. Uh, because it feels that there is change. And it feels like some kind of life-changing event that you just need to trust. Because there is a new path unfolding for you. Um, 
yeah it, it just feels a lovely energy you know um life journeys and all that but obviously it's not easy okay Yeah, oh my goodness, Gemini, I've got shivers, hedgehog, acceptance, acceptance, hanged man, surrender, let go, let them go, uh, acceptance, embrace who you are, wow, so I hope you enjoyed the reading, Gemini, if you did, please do like, share and subscribe, I hope it's a wonderful week for you all, and I will see you next time, thank you.